If you think of Macau, you probably think about gambling, and for good reason. It's the world's largest gambling hub. The region generates four times more gaming revenue than Las Vegas, making it one of the richest places in the world. But there's more to Macau than slot machines and roulette wheels. For over 400 years, it was a Portuguese colony. Ancient Chinese temples sit on streets paved with traditional Portuguese tiles. Welcome to Macau. Macau is only a one-hour ferry ride from Hong Kong and is a gambling mecca. In 2017, mainland Chinese tourists made over 22 million trips to Macau and spent $273 per person. There are 41 casinos in the region and the gambling industry makes up 60% of GDP. But there's more to this city. You don't have to spend your time throwing money away in air-conditioned rooms. This is Macau Peninsula, a large section of which is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here the blend of Portuguese and Chinese culture is plain to see. Churches sit alongside temples, while fortresses bear a mix of characteristics. These are the ruins of St. Paul's, probably the most well-known landmark in Macau. It was originally a 17th century church and college, but was destroyed by fire in the 19th century. It features Baroque carvings of oriental themes. The blend of cultures has also shaped the food scene. Street vendors will sell you Portuguese custard tarts and pork chop bun, which is a Macau version of a hamburger. At the other end of the spectrum is Alocha. This authentic Portuguese restaurant keeps the colonial culinary history of Macau alive. Its interior design is a nod to the area's naval history. Finally, check out the view from the Macau Tower and then leap off it. You can bungee down from the platform 233 meters above the ground. Sure beats walking. <laughs> 